All right, coming up next into UFC's light heavyweight division collision. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxer, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of JK. trouble. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. It's what is he first? Fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 194 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of New York, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This might be good. Ready. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match, a kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Missed with that right hand. What a punch. Oh, huge slot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Kick lands and he's hurt. Slips that left hand. That is a thudding leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Beautiful leg kick throw. by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Sneaky head kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Hand now, unable to connect. Can't take any of those, you better check. Nice leg kick lands. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. How good is that right hand? Liver kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, knee, big knee. knee hurt him. Blocks that kick to the body. Got Cliff with the right hand. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Nice move with punch. Knees to the body. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. There's no give on that leg kick. Ten seconds to go. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. While right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty Let's good, go. not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for power with John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combination. Kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up with that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. A big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that figure. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Now connects with the right. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it to. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Just misses with the jab there. Slips the shot. Great punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Head kiss. How about that chin? Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Just missed. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Big kick. Check out the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say it's great are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Still a nice body kick. Nice strike. He How about those five minutes? Stop, stop, stop. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse.
had pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really be up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. The right hand just misses. Blocks that strike. Continuing to work the body to great effect. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knock. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! Big leg kick land. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty significant result to the left side. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels Ooh, diving punch lands. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, oh, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. What a body Right punches there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at the angle of that nice body. 20 seconds left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds of round three. Oh, 
single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Oh, yeah, stop. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, this time, all right? Mm. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice knee to the midsection there. Nice punch land over the top. And just misses with that big right hand. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful body kick. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, huge head kick. Grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Nice kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big body play. That's a big strike right there. Ooh! Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice jab. Just a slip there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, and he caught the kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Slips that left. Oh, oh, right under the elbow, right under the left. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponents reacting violently from that punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, and he's back up again. Right hand now just misses. the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight.
All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 48 seconds of round number 4. Playing the winner by And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.